Hold as well I want to discuss the concept right of radio spread on this Am radar. Okay. It's, uh, Eagle Flight 3239. There is a cluster of weather there, but you can see it looks as though it's reaching out and striking our airplane, which of course is not the way lightning behaves, at least most of the time. So this is what the, the geeksters call radial spread. There is a storm, but it's, it's not within 50 miles of the airplane. Uh, we zoom in on this, we can see that the, the majority of the strikes are outside of that 50 range. Since the tops are only the 30, I'm, I'm very comfortable with that. There are rain showers out the window within range, within that 30 mile range, but nothing that's producing light, at least as far as we can tell. It would be easier to see that at night, but uh, uh, if we go to the radar, we can see that um, we really have only at the very worst three, uh, light rain three, zero, in the park position. Delta twenty-one zero three four we so we discussed uh, earlier, that's going to be under us. Center we uh, explore that three, six, zero, with a bearing we pointer. We to go right around the weather at uh, Cowboy area up there. We'll bring that right to the center. It's about uh, five right. Then check that vertical profile. And see what it says. You can see that, uh, yeah, that might be, might be some, uh, some rain below us, but nothing at that or above our altitude. Right approved and uh, the Mark 1 eyeballs are supporting that, that hypothesis. We look out there, we really don't see anything directly in our path. We're going to pass over even the lowliest of, of uh, clouds, or the highest of the clouds directly in front of us. American 1241 so yes, there's weather here today, but we have a wide girth. We have American at least 40 30 40 miles, miles probably heading back to for your climb. President heading American 1241. Bye safely. And Center Delta 2103, we're direct. Tango Charlie, Charlie at this time. Delta 2103, Roger, thank you.